Janice and Tim chose to have their ceremony at San Fernando Cathedral downtown. And at rehearsal on Friday evening, we were informed that there would be lots of festivities going on. Streets would be closed. There was the Veterans Day Parade. Um, there was a Latin music festival. Lots of busy things going on. So we knew it was going to be a challenge. My first question was, I wanted to make sure that the bride was going to be on time. Where, uh, where are you right now? Are you, are you Mike? Uh, my uh, name is Kenneth. He's with this, all this activity downtown right now. There's a lot of festivities going on. There's a, a concert here on the, on the plaza going on. There's also a parade going on. So streets are closed. And you never know what to expect here in San Antonio. Do we have everyone that's walking in? Uh, it's so hard downtown parking and everything else. It's really important for us to always be prepared for the unexpected, so that way we can plan ahead for these things. Sometimes it might be weather, sometimes it might be traffic. In this case, there was a whole fiesta party that was going on. Made sure to let all of the wedding guests know to come early so they would be able to find parking. We made a route so the bride would, would have no problem arriving on time. So we were prepared and, um, and whatever came up, we, we were able to handle it. Did you like the flowers? I did too. Yeah. The team arrived at the club at Sonterra where we unloaded all of our things, our vases, our, our poles, lighting equipment. When poles went up, we made sure to get all of the curtains up. We actually did pipe and drape in the entire perimeter of the ballroom, which completely transformed the ballroom altogether. That ballroom did not look the same as I had walked in there previously beforehand. Checked in with the groomsmen and the groom sisters, and uh, as we're putting on the Britney's, we're talking about what's going on. The, the groom was very excited, so kind of nervous, but also very excited. He had noticed that I wasn't wearing a a um, handkerchief. Greg, you didn't get your your thing. So he uh, told me that he had an extra one that he wanted me to have. So he went ahead and put it on me. Tim is uh, actually a doctor, and he's actually my doctor. So I kind of, um, you know, we're we're friends, and we we know each other. So it was a, it was a little bit easier to make it comfortable. Let's meet our wedding couple.
SanAntonioWeddings.com All the resources you need to plan the perfect wedding. Well, we met about 15 years ago. I thought, she's kind of hot. <laughs> I think I'd like to talk to her. And she blew me off. Yes. She wouldn't talk to me. Um, then one time a few years later, when she wasn't dating someone, uh, we went to a birthday party of a mutual friend. She blew me off then too. Thirteen of those years she blew me off. What ultimately happened is we hit a, a good spot where she wasn't dating anyone and I wasn't dating anyone. And it was the right time. See, I called her and said, hey, what are you doing? He called me at work and said, what are you doing? Let's go out. I'm like, I'm in scrubs. Doesn't matter. And then we went to go eat at Chow. Yep. He's a big food critic. <laughs> we both like to eat, we both like to cook. We both like to go to the movies. I knew I wanted to propose when I finally realized that having Denise in my life meant having much less drama than I ever had in any other relationship and that I felt more at peace. We were actually in Turks and Caicos. We were walking in the beach and then out of nowhere he just got on one knee and he proposed. The timing shocked me. I kind of thought maybe, but I thought, nah. And sure enough, he proposed in the middle of the beach. It was nice. Never imagined a wedding, never imagined getting married really. So I just knew I wanted a church wedding because that was very important to me. The way we decided on our wedding date was uh, the church only had an availability in August and in November, and August was too hot, so we decided to go for November. We met Greg and helped us arrange the venue. The San Antonio Marathon was going to be happening downtown. Like, oh, that's going to be really crowded down there. And I thought for our, for our guests and so forth, it would be better just to have it at Centura. And it's a beautiful place. Fall is my favorite season of the year, and so we just wanted something neutral we chose espresso fall colors for that reason, at least I did. Uh, as far as uh, music goes, once we get here, we'll have a live band that'll play jazz and then later some uh, 80s music and some international music, which Denise loves. And then after that, we're gonna have an hour of mariachis. The environment itself is gonna be very beautiful. The music will be fun and relaxing. Our friends and family, they're all beautiful, wonderful people and they like to have fun and dance and I just think people just will enjoy themselves.
we got closer to ceremony time, um, we brought all the gentlemen down from the upstairs dressing room. We lined up all the bridal party. Greg escorted her to the aisle. He made sure to fluff her dress. Um, she waited patiently with her dad, and, and we always encourage all of our brides, and Denise did this, um, just took her time and, and kind of took the moment in, and it was it was a gorgeous ceremony. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. And you went a bling girl. I like this dress. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, you know, as we, as we got her comfortable and got her ready to walk down the aisle, she um, got a, a, a little teary. She was a little bit nervous. Uh, and just seeing everything that, that was going on, but we got her comfortable. I knew that everything was going to be perfect. You want me to show you a little bit of last night? Oh, wow. It's very important to be ready and to know what's going to be going on, you know, right before the ceremony. So that way you know that everything's going to be perfect. But you also have to be ready to improvise when the different things occur. couple's first look at the reception ballroom. SanAntonioWeddings.com All the resources you need to plan the perfect wedding. Alterna Clinic, offering painless treatments to lose inches and cellulite, a healthy alternative to liposuction.
back at the club at Santerra, Thomas with the painted cake has arrived for setup. We're here at Santerra for the delivering the final product. We know Tim and Denise are going to love it, along with their groom's cake as well. The cake was actually brought in in pieces and was put together individually, one by one. Um, there were sugar flowers put on the cake with a combination of real flowers that complemented Denise's bridal bouquet. Um, from my understanding, it took Thomas about 80, 80 plus hours to design this cake, make the cake, and then put it together there at Santerra. We're so excited we did get it done, we got it here successfully, and everybody loves it. Once her guests arrived, um, we kept them partitioned off by an illusion wall where cocktail hour was underway. Uh, we actually had Denise and Tim whisked away so they could take some private photos together on the green and, and just enjoy their time together and the beautiful scenery there. Tim through the back way of the club at Santerra so they would have a sneak peek of the ballroom and I think both of them were just floored. Um, what they saw was nothing that they had seen previously at the club at Santerra. The ballroom I don't think was anything that they expected. Did you see your uh, candle? It's very pretty. Oh, great. It's not like It's really cool. Oh, yes. She's really awesome. The cake itself was five, six feet tall. It was a huge focal point in the room. It sat on a beautiful champagne rosette linen, which really complemented it. The cake was just gorgeous, they loved the cake. And she couldn't have been any more happier. She, she was actually brought to tears when she saw everything in the room. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, it's beautiful, you guys are beautiful. Thank you. We just hope you guys have a good, good, good you time. You did a great job. Thank you, thank you guys, thank you. The night went really smoothly. Everybody seemed to be really having a great time, enjoying the bar, enjoying the music. cutting the cake, I noticed that Tim and Denise were just very happy and they just couldn't believe how beautiful this, this cake was. When we got to the groom's cake, the cake was just gorgeous. Uh, Tim took lots of pictures, even with his, with his phone. The cake was a masterpiece, it was, it was art. We provided four um, intelligent lights around the dance floor, and that's way from every angle there was a, there was a spotlight on them. 
so that every guest, that no matter where they were sitting, they would see where they were located. And especially with Chris and the bride and groom, this cake is fondant, so they wanted to make sure that it was going to taste good and not just look good. So that they asked the chef to, uh, to remove the fondant, and he's going to retouch it with, with the buttercream uh, icing, so that way when it's presented to the, to the guests, it looks beautiful and, and, and tastes great. Coming up, the party kicks into full swing. special day and lavish style at Kendall Plantation. Share our history and begin your new life together at Lambermont. The girls are having a blast. We uh, just started the dancing not, not too long ago. Banda's show was a huge hit with all of her guests. Um, they certainly do a compilation of all sorts of music, but um, when the show actually starts, we have characters that come out on stilts. They have balloons, they have balls, they have flags. They really get the crowd into the music. Of course, the LED dance floor always helps. It's always a big hit with all of your guests. Definitely something that's unforgettable that guests will remember. the Campanas de America to perform for the bride and groom and Tim he was really relaxed and he actually really enjoyed it he sang along with them it was a great surprise for Denise to enjoy and for her family to enjoy we actually have a surprise for the bride and groom we actually have fireworks when they leave Tina with Starlight Fireworks and all of her team had arrived earlier in the afternoon to begin set up 
Now this was a surprise that the bride and groom had no idea that was planned for them. So as we get ready for send off, we line it up all their guests right outside the uh, doors of the Culver's Santera. And if you guys will line the sidewalk this way, please, in two lines. Just line this way, come on, guys. And as we get ready to send them off, we, you know, we, we light it up sparklers for them. Okay, I see them. The sparklers are being lit. You tell me when. Here they come. Okay, go Pyro. As the fireworks were coming to an end, I couldn't help seeing the love in both their eyes as they're looking into each other and they actually, you know, say goodbye to everyone with a big kiss. It was just a very, very different uh, send out that we have ever done. All of the attention to detail and all of the surprises that encompass the whole day are the things that make weddings unforgettable. Tim and Denise's wedding was unforgettable. From, from the moment we started uh, to the, the guests arriving with all this fiesta, uh, things going out San Antonio, very San Antonio, I mean, we could have asked for a better day than, than what we had. together quite nicely everything flowed I think the guests had a great time and it was nice it was really good that exceeded my expectations we can't ask for better than that